Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Atus. This video, I'll be showing you how to fix folders keeps reverting to read-only Windows 11. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just on this video. Let's get started. So, if you're having problems with setting the permissions here for your Windows folder, well, there are a few things that we need to understand. Now, first things first is you want to guarantee that you are using an administrator account when you're accessing that folder. So, meaning you have admin privileges. Now, typically, if you do have or you're using an admin account, well, typically, you just need to right click on that folder and you want to go ahead and just choose the option here for properties. And in here, you should be able to remove the read only, click on apply and OK. Now, it's really important that you click on apply first before clicking OK so that your changes should be saved. Now, in here, you can go ahead and just see if that solves the issue. Now, another thing that you may want to do here is you may want to uh, basically fix any corrupt uh, data or folders or uh, anything that is corrupted in your Windows PC. So in this case, you want to go and run the following command. So first, you want to open up CMD so or command prompt. You want to right click on it, click on run as administrator. Now, once it is running, you want to go and run the following commands. So first, it's going to be SFC forward slash scan now. Now, go and just run this. Now, once it's finished running, what you need to do is you want to go and run the following. It's going to be DISM forward slash online forward slash cleanup image forward slash check health. Now from here, you can go and just basically uh, paste it or type it in and just press enter. Now from here, it will basically do some uh, uh, fixing in your PC and hopefully this will basically uh, restore some corruptive files and hopefully that would help with your issue. Now, if this doesn't help, there is one setting here that you can actually enable or disable, I mean, to basically so solve this issue. Now, what do you need to do? So first things first is you want to go ahead and just open up your settings here. Just type in settings. On their settings, you want to go ahead and go to the left side. You want to access privacy and security. You want to go to windows and security. And on their windows and security, you want to go ahead and access the following section. So let's go and choose virus and threat protection here. And under virus and threat protection, you should see a section here that says ransomware. Now, just wait for a while here, so until it loads up. But yeah, in here, you want to scroll down a bit here. You should see ransomware protection. Let's go and click on manage ransomware protection. Now, what you need to do is you want to make sure that control folder access is actually turned off. And if you do have this turned on, again, turn it off and see if that solves the issue. Now, by the way, after doing everything that you've done in here, restart your PC and you should be good. And also, this is just a bonus. I would highly recommend you to also update your PC. So in this case, go and just uh, go to the Windows Update section. If there are any updates, download that, restart your PC, and again, see if that actually helps. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.